Do you want to be a better partner? Do you wish you could talk to your partner better? In this video, I'm going to take you into one of my coaching seminars that I did in Salt Lake City where we discussed good things to say and really bad things to say when you're playing beach volleyball. Stick around, check out the video. What we want to just talk about right now, since we all like have different training partners every day, we have different playing partners every day, right? Is we have to first know ourselves. Yeah? Because I can't make somebody else make me better if I don't know what makes me good. Like if I can't verbalize that, then I'm not going to be able to tell them how to help me. Like if I like steak and I just wait and expect somebody to cook me steak and I just keep getting pissed off at them because they never cook me steak, right? I've never told them that I like steak and I never told them that I like it medium rare. So they're never gonna make me happy, right? Because I can't say it. So what we have to know is we just have to know where we're good, what kind of triggers us or pisses us off and how I should be talked to or how I think I should be talked to when I make a mistake. That's just like the, the big surface of what we want to talk about just really quickly. So I want some volunteers here just really quickly. An emotional state, I play best when I'm confident. Confident. Are you high energy when you're confident or are you just a little bit of both, okay? How does somebody make you comp confident? Yeah. Encouragement? What's encouraging? Give me a specific word. Great pass. Great X, right? That I'll say, we'll just keep that as a, as a positive. What's the worst thing? What would destroy your confidence? A physical action or a word, what's that? Name call? You don't like silence. Silent treatment. Does anybody like it when their partner's just calm, mellow, doesn't talk much? I do. I like to, I like to battle, and then like when we need to talk, we'll talk about it. So I like to keep it open, but I don't need constant chatter. So for me, I don't mind silent as long as it's not. That kind of thing. Angry silent. Okay. What about like the disappointed? Yeah. Okay. So now, best thing to say when I screw up. So I just I just missed three passes. What could somebody say to you to pull you out of that? Right. We know how to like how to start yourself firing up. But what if you make a mistake? We inevitably do. Okay. So you don't like when they comment on your technique, like your no. physical technique, no, like just I like what's our goal? You do like that. Okay. So after you screwed up, I'm like, I wanna like hey, I'm like keep your ribs tucked. Uh, next play. Yeah. Okay. A next play. Yeah, like you got the next okay. You got this. Yeah. I like this. Do you want to try anything else? What does that lead to? That leads to like somebody being able to, yeah, let me play left. You know, you know what? You take middle. I'm just, they're beating me up down the line. You take all the passes. Let me just focus on a good set in a smaller passing area. I've subbed myself out of passing rotations in indoor. I've been like, Libro, other outside, you guys take everything. I just need to hit a ball because I can't pass right now and I'm a liability. So you guys take over for a second. Let me get my confidence back, right? And I'll get that through another skill, through hitting. So instead of being like, hey, like, I'll take all the passes, like, do you want to try something else so they get to decide what they want to practice? That's kind of a depend thing. Who wants to, who wants to decide? Who wants, like, the question where they decide? You want to decide? So you'd rather me ask you a question than say, I'll take middle? Okay, so you like to decide, but a lot of other people don't. So that's something that you talk about with your partner, right? Where it's, how can I talk to you to make you better? Give me one more emotional state. 
that we can work through. Level-headed. Level -headed. You play best when you're level-headed. So you don't like to be too excited and fired up. You don't like to be too calm. Well, calm is level-headed. Okay. Level-headed. Hey guys, before this talk goes any further, I just wanted to invite you to our link below where we have a questionnaire waiting for you and it's got every question you need to find out what you need as a partner and I hope you give it to your partner so that they can also answer those questions. I promise you it'll make you a better team. So go ahead and click the link below once you're done watching this video and you can answer those questions and have a little team meeting with your partner and I hope it helps you out. Now, best thing, okay, how do I, how do you get level-headed? If we're talking before a match and it's like we're going into the semifinal, what's our conversation like to keep you level-headed? Let's get this going! You know, like, no? Okay. <laughs> okay. What's a level-headed conversation? Do you want to talk strategy? Strategy. Okay. Talk about strategy. Does anybody like to play really fired up? Cool. That can be yours, right? What's the best way to fire you up? What's that? If you get on a run? Yeah, it's always good to be happy when we're doing well. But before the match. Good warm up? We can't control that. Sometimes you have crappy warm ups. So I, I would love to have a great warm up and feel super confident, but a lot of times like it's windy and I overset my partner three times during warm ups and I'm all shook up and I can't control that, right? So maybe more about our conversation. I like getting excited from the start of the game. Like if we like get two points at the start of the game, we like get excited about that, you know, instead of just What if you don't get the first two points? Okay. How do we do it before the match? Fire up before the match. What do you want somebody to say to you if you're a fired up person? What do you want them to say to you that's going to get your blood flow? Yeah. You are really good at X. That's how we'll beat them. That puts us in a really positive state of mind where like we're controlling our mind, flows nicely back to here, and it can, it can be also a, a level-headed statement because it's like instead of thinking about the crowd or blah, 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 it's like, yeah, I do have a great cut shot. You're right, I am the best setter in this hole. Right? Those are like really nice positive statements. So that's pretty good. Okay. Um, now, what is the worst thing? How do you absolutely destroy my fire? I'm like raging, going, bouncing. Does anybody have a trigger word? Does anybody hate the word moist? Like, and that just turns you off for the rest of the day? I have like a trigger phrase. If anybody ever says, like, get out of your head, I am immediately. Mm. Get out of your head you know what mine is a coach can turn me off um the word lazy if he ever accuses me or my team or my teammates of something when when he uses the word lazy i i get pissed quick because like that's something that i've prided myself on my whole life i'll grind i'll go but if you even insinuate that anything about me or the people around me is lazy I, we want to fight. Whether you want to or not, we want to fight. Something like another team does, like I hate it when they nitpick things, like hand setting happens a lot with people here. You don't like when your teammate picks fights with people? In our women's group, we had eight out of the 12 players say mean to the other team. Here's something fun. In the men's group, the best way to fire me up was let's kick these guys' asses. Interesting little like 
changer. So ladies, if you're playing with a guy in a co-ed, like you're gonna let him do that to you. Guys, if you're playing, like, hey, we got this. You know, so you can think about that, right? Okay, so picking fight with other people, worse, lazy. Anybody else have a trigger word that they absolutely hate that you know you can tell your partner off the bat? Just, just never ever say that to me. I know, I'm weird, but I hate that. Anybody else have that? Ooh, sure. I've said like they've got your number. Ooh, they've got your number. All right, cool. So what you guys got to figure out, and a little bit of homework for you is, know when you play best. And the best best way to think about that is think about your your most like recent dominating win. Right, something you did really good, business presentation, um, family event, whatever. You got up and you did karaoke. Like, what was it? Were you drunk? Do you play best when you're drunk? Just kidding. It's, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny, right? Like, what was your posture like? What was your facial expression like? What was your rate of speech like? What was your breathing, breathing rate like? So that you can anchor yourself back in that state and then you can kind of start to simulate that. So if you play well when you're, you wanna start that breathing before the match starts, right? Get yourself fired up, get into that state. If you're level-headed and you feel yourself getting juiced because you had too much pre-workout, <sighs> calm it down a little bit, okay? Make sure you settle. You have to know how to help your partner help you. What words make you better? What actions make you better? And you have to know your own triggers, right? So that you can discuss that with your partner because partners can silently kill us and if we don't tell them or announce it, they don't know those things. Learn that in relationships, it's weird. If you don't talk about like, what is a turn off, what's a turn on, you're never gonna get it, right? So as partners, we have to be really, really, really good at that. And the first, first, first thing is knowing yourself. And then hopefully you can open it up to your partner like, hey, how do you play best, right? So you know you're not, trying to pick fights with somebody when you think they're, you're firing them up, but they're like, God, you're being really competitive and overly aggressive. Like, very different stories. So that's just our board work for today, right? And as you're playing, think about what feels good today and think about if somebody makes you smile and makes you feel good and just remember what they said and then see if you can give that to somebody else. Easy enough? Cool. Thanks guys, have a great practice, get better. Thanks for watching that video. Don't forget to click the link below to check out the partner profile. I promise you it'll help make you a better team. And if you ever wanna run a coaching seminar or a clinic for some players, get in contact with us, email support at betteratbeach.com and we could run something in your hometown just like we did here in Salt Lake City. Check you next time.